did Horatio Gates find himself in charge of an army that didn't exist? Hi Founder fans, Jason here. Today's founder is Horatio Gates. Now, Horatio Gates had a very large role in the American Revolution, but we're going to focus on just one aspect of his time in the Continental Army today. Gates was appointed a major general very early on in the hostilities, and he went to Boston where he helped Washington with the Siege of Boston, and after the British evacuated that city, well, Gates wanted a command of his own, so he marched on down to the Continental Congress and kind of complained enough until they finally said, okay, you know what, you can have a command, and they put him in charge of all American forces in Canada. And off he went to go take control of this army. Problem is, information traveled very slowly at the time, and the Continental Congress didn't know that the Continental Army was evacuating Canada. And by the time Arnold, I'm sorry, by the time Horatio Gates got to Albany, he met with Philip Schuyler and Benedict Arnold, who said, hey, we don't have an army in Canada anymore. Sorry, man, nothing for you to do here. Now, Gates stomped and whined again, and eventually Schuyler, and, and I'll say, Philip Schuyler was in charge of the northern department of the Continental Army, which was New York and most of... Uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, a good part of Massachusetts, were all under Schuyler's command at this point. So, without an army in Canada, he said, there's nothing for you to do. Eventually, Gates, you know, complained enough where they said, you know what, you can go take charge of Fort Ticonderoga. Because since the British had chased the uh, Continental Army out of Canada, it looked like they were going to be coming down the Hudson River. And they actually would do that. So Gates went and he took over and fortified Ticonderoga and played a big part in uh, creating the first Continental Navy on Lake Champlain. Although, again, Benedict Arnold gets a lot of credit for that also. So they did stop the British from coming down and, and Gates would go on and be for known at the time as the hero of Saratoga. He was the major general in charge of the Battle of Saratoga, which is possibly the most important uh, maybe second most after Yorktown, important battle of the Revolutionary War. He would also later go on to be the loser at the Battle of Camden, which was a horrible defeat for the Continental Army. Uh, now, there's a lot you can know about Horatio uh, Gates, but we're going to call it at that for today. I hope you go out and look up more about Horatio Gates. He's a fascinating character, uh, and I also hope you like this video. If you did, please hit like, and if you're new here, hit subscribe. I put out short videos about the American Revolution five days a week. We talk about some of the lesser-known stories of the Revolutionary War. So thank you for watching. I'm Jason, and I'll be back with another Founder tomorrow.